So hello everybody. I'm Stefan Lurum from Berlin. I'm working for a consortium. And um, well, I'm talking a little bit on implementing the new Primo search webhook. So those who have been familiar with Primo about uh, 10 years ago, they, they might, might remember that there has been already a, a kind of search webhook uh, where you, which was implemented by uh, Technical University of Zurich and uh, well, but this interface has been gone with the years and so um, we have been looking uh, for something similar and working together with Xlibris to, to find a solution. So what's going on? So I will tell you a little bit on Germany and uh, its data mostly used for ILL. So we have a very large ILL index. I tell you a little bit on the content, data structures and the interfaces. I get over to uh, Xlibris specification on Primo Search webhook, and then we get more into detail. So I tell you which tools and programs I use to to implement this work, uh, this uh, this web hook. And the most important thing is uh, what's com coming out of Primo, so the queries and uh, what's getting in back to Primo, the result sets, so which kind of transformations you have to do. And uh, if there is time, I will do some demo. So if it doesn't work, I have some slides on it. And uh, at least at the last points, uh, I show you where you can configure something with an Alma. And, and then we try to sum up everything. So in Germany, Germany is a federal re republic. So we have 16 states and within the states, there are six library consortia. Most of them have a known uh, bibliographic database. There is a national library with, with, with its own database in a journal database centrally managed. So in total, there are around uh, 170 million, 70 million bibliographic records strolling around, so which should be searchable uh, within Primo. And we put these, all these records into a huge solar index, and the solar index becomes daily updates from the consortial database, from the National Library, and all of them. And uh, well, there are a lot of duplicates in, in this database because uh, you know, consortia bibliographic data, the people in Northern Germany, they will do reading mostly the same thing what they do in Southern Germany. So databases have a lot of duplicates. So there is some key-based deduplication and you get it by for free within, within Solar and this feature is called grouping. And the main use case of this uh, database is interlibrary loan because we have a very sophisticated interlibrary system in Germany. So for, for every user in, the smallest library can get from any other library the material being transported to them. And so there is a central knowledge which uh, library has which item. So if we get into the uh, ILL index, uh, yeah, well, it's, uh, it's a very smart index. So it's, uh, it, it has just the full record, which is a Mark 21 container. And then there is some ID and there is some uh, uh, type uh, which uh, dip, uh, which displays the, the the record type. So you have to pass the Mark Twenty One container. Additionally, to find something in in this index, uh, yes, there are a lot of index uh, fields: author title, subject, summaries, ISBN, related ISBNs, and a lot of them. Uh, and we, as we have in Germany, uh, uh, related records, uh, hierarchical structures, there are ID, uh, related IDs, so you can come from one record to another record. And there is some uh, published date to have something for, for uh, to, to uh, uh, search for specific uh, ranges. And of course, we have a lot of facets and that's what you will take advantage with in Primo. We have, a, we have flags for the consortia, for the authors, for the material. We have subject flag, flags and so on and so on. So these data can be displayed within XML and this is the structure we use within Primo. 
And uh, well, it's yeah, regular Mark 21. And we have for IRL usage, we have some additional 900 fields uh, which contain the easel and uh, some uh, regional codes of the library interlones, interlibrary system, which can be used to get some, uh, some records and a local ID, which might sometimes has to be exposed to this uh, IRL system as well. There are com a couple of interfaces. So you, within a solar index, you have an XML and a JSON interface for free, but we also uh, implemented a uh, Z39 and as a U interface uh, using uh, index data's meta proxy. And well, still missing was for all the Primo users in Germany an access to these data. So missing the Primo interface. And this is what we are talking about. Well, I don't want to talk on the long story to get this interface. So since the beginning of the year, this interface is there and Exlibri. Uh, put a documentation how it's work and we started testing and implementing it uh, in December. And it took us a very short time to get a prototype out of it. So the main thing, the, the simple thing is you have a Primo interface uh, either in, uh, in, uh, in the box or a standalone Primo and you have your external search engine and the first, a special URL comes out of Primo to your external search interface and it uh, gives a call and the external search interface, the external search interface has to respond some JSON records uh, to, back to Primo and then Primo analyzes this data and makes uh, its uh, interface data out of it. So the parameters from Primo to the external search engine is the query, which is exposed in the Primo search syntax. Uh, the number of the first record. So we, if, you, if you remember Primo, you can, you can uh, scroll within the re uh, result list. And so, so you, 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 you don't uh, send back all records, uh, but, a, but a, a slice of records. This is a bulk size, you can send some uh, some sort uh, uh, order information, and there is an IPI uh, token which has the I, which is the IPI which has to be validated from the external search engine. But you can also do it. Uh, you ignore this if you don't, don't care on 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 uh, usage of your resources. So when implementing, well, we have heard about Python. So this, uh, 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 this implementation of the um, webhook is also done in Python 3.6. Uh, it, it also works with 3.8. So I started with, with, this, with 3.6 and uh, meanwhile we are on 3.8, but it doesn't matter. For the interface, we do some flask. As we have a solar engine, we need PY solar. As there are mark records, we have to to uh, uh, the, the PY mark toolkit, and uh, to to, do, to deploy a web service um, comfortable, uh, we use uh, G Unicorn. So these are all standard tools. There is nothing sophisticated with it. You get it everything with pip, and uh, so it's a. Uh, it's less than an hour job to set up a machine uh, and install all the uh, all these toolkits. So it's all standard toolkits. And the, the, the program I uh, put uh, put together is just three or four hundred li uh, lines of code, and we just get a little bit into uh, what is working. So there is some something to do. It has to do two jobs. It has to do the query transformation from the query query language to Solar. And on the other hand, it has the transformation back, the mark XML coming from, this, from our Solar index back to PNX. If you have some other structures, or you have to do some other transformation routines. So query transformation. So this is a very easy job because the Primo search index and Solar both are based on the solar search engine. And so the structure is more or less identical. So 
But of course, the different uh, the search attributes have different names. And uh, in Primo, we have specific attributes for the facet search at the end of the query. So if we, ha if we have a Primo search for the title of a book called Neuronale Netze, and uh, also the creator Rojas, and the facet book type, yeah, you, you, see the, you see this very specific Primo search, and you have to transform it to a soda query title. See also, and because we have uh, normalized names in our database, we put the normalized name, and then we have a, a facet query and the con material content type by, uh, books. So this is quite straightforward. We don't need a parser. We do just a textual replacement with a typo. So this is a quick and dirty solution. And of course, you may construct some queries and some, uh, uh, some, some, some uh, tests which won't work, but it works for more than 99% of all queries. On the other hand, we have to do the result transformation. It's Mark 21 to, P to PNX. So Mark 21 uh, in solar, it's uh, the, the Mark 21 code 041A is a language. The creator is uh, exposed in the 100 field. The title is in the 254 field and so on and, and so on. And we have some, uh, some facets and facets in our index have different namings than in Primo. And you have to map them on each other. Okay, so this is a theory and now we are getting back to practice. I will switch over to get over to a, to a live demo. And the live demo is done with the, uh, with the, um, Sandbox of the University of Mannheim. Uh, well, Bettina Kalbenberg uh, does most of, of the implementation and she is uh, our testing partner. And we just start with a search. So we, we start and we get some results and you see, we get results and we, we, we get the full record and if we want to, if we want to look deep what the mark is, we have some. So this is a testing interface. So we have uh, the possibility to check, okay, which mark fields are coming out uh, of, out of the records. And here you see, here's the, the title, and so on, and so on. And here you see, here is the ID and something like this. Uh, okay, quite easy. And you can scroll around. And you, if you just look for recordings, so for, you can use the filters uh, presented by Primo and these are mapped to, uh, to our, well, so we have Primo VE, but it should work with both interfaces. So just try it out because the interface, uh, this API is, uh, is underlying both interfaces. So Xlibris told us it should work with both interfaces. Okay, so I have ooh, got got. I'm I'm very I'm very short in time. So I switch back to, so I switch back to uh, to the presentation. Okay, here has been the live demo. So the live demo has been done. Okay, so 
most important, if you want to integrate ILL, you have to have um, uh, put your data out to some other to, to some other system. And this you can do with uh, using the the SFX or open URL link, which can be put into the data. And this is a this is kind of of the of the referent book title and stuff like this, and you can configure it within the Alma Primo interface. And you should be able to, if you have have not no Alma but uh, Primo, Primo Direct, you should be able to uh, configure it in your interface as well. So the most important thing, um, it works. It's a straightforward programming. Uh, well, for me, it has been around 300 uh, lines of code. The response part time is fine. Remember the stack. So we start. I'm I'm, I'm with my interface in in Berlin. Um, so the, the request gets over to Amsterdam, where the Primo sandbox is located. Then it gets back to Berlin to our uh, to, to, to our uh, to our service. Then it gets over to Constance, which is in Southern Germany, where is the solar index located and all in the data is getting the, the way back. So for this response times of two or three seconds is very fine. Well, I do it as an example in, 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 in Python. You can do it in, with any other programming languages. Well, there are still a couple of to-dos. So currently I don't make use of uh, Solar's DDAP. We have to do some more specific Mark 21 analysis of the records, material types, URLs, and we have uh, do a, a better a, a real integration into the ILL work workflow. And this is based, as I mentioned, with open URL, and then we have to roll out it to the production. Uh, blending of records was a question, so I get back from the um, from, from 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 the end. So blending is not possible, so because it's um, it's a standalone interface. So you can cannot mix uh, the results of the external search engine as you can as you. As a, there are some some other uh, interfaces uh, implemented with it. You cannot blend it with the internal result sets with, from Primo, but this would be a task of Ex Libris to make this possible. Okay. Yes. So, so, yes. Thanks. Um, okay. Uh, so I put the answer to all the questions. Okay. So PNX is work in progress and I put the code today on on GitHub um, where you find it on the Gemeinsame Inde Verbünde Index is a real long German name. If you search for GVI GitHub, you find this as well. And there is a, put a link to the Exlibris specification in the developers network. So thank you for your interest. And uh, yes, hopefully I will hear from him. Thank you once more, Stefan. Are there any other questions? Um, so blending, blending is so. Yeah, that's a difficult one, huh? This is uh, a difficult one, yeah, because you, because you I also I also implemented uh, the, the, the the search web hooks, and uh, you said one. You normally all ninety nine percent of the cases work, that one percent doesn't, and you can already guess. Uh, which of those 99% or 100% we are, we are mo using the most, huh? that, uh, that 1%. Well, no, no. This is one. This is one percent, which which won't won't match with with it. It's, it's some if, you, if 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 in the query are uh, keywords from uh, from our index names because of from 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 Primo's index names because yeah. I I just do a textual uh, replacement. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> any other questions? So then, then we're going to uh, end these uh, three sessions. Okay. Um, so, so we, we'll have a short break. Just a second, Stefan. You yeah, so, so I will break? give a special, a special, uh, special thanks to Bettina, Bettina Kalbenberg from Uni University of Mannheim. Okay. She is my favorite testing partner, and she she works very hard. That's to, to 